You know, it's hard enough being part of the royal family. It's hard enough being the queen's daughter. And it's hard enough where a crazy fool tries to kidnap you in a rambling attempt to uh, dictate his, uh, what he calls, strange theories about the royal family in England and how it should be uh, run. So today we're going to be talking about the very bizarre uh, kidnapping attempt of uh, Queen Elizabeth's daughter, Princess Anne, on March 20, 1974. Now, Princess Anne was a, was a recently married uh, lady, what, uh, or a commoner husband, uh, Mar Mark Phillips. Now, at the time, there was a lot of attention for them because their wedding ceremony was uh, broadcast worldwide, uh, kind of a precursor to the uh, the uh, Princess Diana, uh, you know, Prince Charles' uh, wedding in 81. Now, in the, the very weird event, Princess Anne and Phillips were returning to Buckingham Palace from a charity event. Their Prince's number four car was forced to stop on the mall by a Ford Escort. The driver of the escort, Ian Ball, jumped out and began firing a pistol. Now, when Inspector James Beaton, Anne's personal police officer, responded by exiting the car in order to shield her and attempt to disarm Ball. However, Beaton's firearm, a Walther PPK, jammed and he was shot by the assailant, as was Anne chauffeur Alex Calder, who tried to disarm Ball. Now, according to published reports, Ball had two... Uh, weapons at his disposal. Now, one Brian McConnell, a nearby tabloid journalist, also intervened and was shot in the chest. Ball approached Anne's car and told her that he intended to kidnap her and, to and held her, uh, hold her for ransom. The sum given by varying sources as, as two, million, 2 million pounds sterling, or 3 million, which he claimed he intended to give to the National Health Service. Ball told Anne to get out of the car, to which she replied, not bloody likely, and reported the briefly considered hitting ball. Eventually, he sees exit to the other side of the limousine, as had her lady in waiting, Rina Brazi. A passing pedestrian, a former boxer, boxer named Ron Russell, punched Ball in the back of the head and led Anne away from the scene. At that point, Police Constable Michael Hills happened upon the situation. He too was shot by Ball, but he had already called for police backup. Detective uh, Constable Peter Edmonds answered, gave chase, and finally arrested Ball. Now, Beaton, Hills, Callender, and McConnell were hospitalized, but recovered from their wounds. For his defense of Princess Anne, Beaton, Beaton was awarded to George Cross by the Queen, who was visiting Indonesia when the incident occurred. Hills and Russell were awarded the George Medal, and Callender, McDonald, Mc, McConnell, and Edmonds were awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal. Russell of all things, also had his mortgage paid off by the Queen. Now, Anne visited Beaton in the hospital and thanked him for his assistance. And in 1984, the princess spoke about the event on the Parkinson show and saying that she was scrupulously polite to a would-be kidnapper as she thought it would be silly to be too rude at that stage. Now, Ball pled guilty to attempted murder and kidnapping, and as of this uh, podcast, he was still detained under the Mental Health Act at Broadmoor Hospital. Now, when this, this news break, a lot of people didn't believe it. They thought it was a hope. Because, uh, but get this, most of these uh, British constables didn't have any guns, although Princess Anne's uh, protective group did have one. And uh, not saying it was a shootout, but you had to be pretty accurate to, to shoot four people and not shoot Princess Anne and Princess Anne's lady of wedding. Overall, a very bizarre uh, series of events. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's our latest historical uh, podcast on our channel. Let us know if you like our crew, True Crime Podcast, with a like, comment, or subscribe. If any requests you have, always considered and frequently done. Have a good day. Bye.